Hi, I'm Dave and I'm going to go over how to take an Altium Designer PCB and schematic project and bring it into their new Circuit Studio software. Uh, they obviously don't want to have Circuit Studio and Altium Designer be exactly the same, so there's a couple things you have to do in order to get it from an Altium Design into Circuit Studio. Uh, most specifically, you want to set up the importer in Circuit Studio. So here we are in Circuit Studio and you want to make sure this Altium Legacy PCB importer slash exporter is installed. Um, that'll give you an opportunity to bring in the 5.0 design files from Altium. And that's the real trick with getting it from Altium to uh, Circuit Studio is they limit the design files that can come in to Altium 5.0. And I know you're saying like, well, I have Altium 15, so how can I get this 15.1 into Circuit Studio? And all you have to do just like working with Microsoft Windows or one of those other pieces of software where revisions matter, is you have to save this PCB project to a 5.0 design. So let's first take a look. I've got a very simple board. All it is is a battery that goes to an LED and a resistor. Um, and you can see this on the design here. If we want to look at the 3D, um, we can see that, you know, very simple, but everything's here. Um, so it's green, it all looks good. Great. So I want to take this into Circuit Studio. Now natively, the schematic can go back and forth, no problem, no exporters, no importers, it's really very convenient. However, the PCB does need to be uh, modified a little bit. So we go File, Save Project, no, not Save Project, as, Save As. Um, and then we want to save this to a 5.0 PCB doc. Um, and then I'm going to save it just in the same folder uh, you know, save. No, I don't. I'm going to change it. I'll do that. CS, um, V 5.0. Okay. So I know the difference between the two. Save. Awesome. That's all you have to do to export is just simple save as. And then in circuit studio, we can close this out. Um, we want to create a new project. So we go file new PCB project and a blank one and we'll go 80 to CS import and we'll put it, I just got my folder on the desktop, um, 80 to CS, we'll put it right in here. Okay, create a project folder, good. Okay, awesome. And then we'll go add existing to project. And once again, we'll find desktop AD to CS. And we want to add the schematic, which remember it just goes right in. Um, and actually, you know what? Since I don't want to mess that file up, I'm actually going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into this folder. Um, add good so now that I've got my schematic in the system I want to bring in the PCB file now I can't simply open the PCB file like I did or add existing like I did with the schematic because I need to import it so I'm gonna go file import and I'm going to find not Protel I want Altium here we are there's my file open it up and there it is uh, it's not too bad it's giving me a couple caution notifications um, but we are good to go here we've got the pads every the pads came in the silk screen came in um, so I've got my schematic and I've got my file right here uh, I did notice, however, when I view, if I switch to 3D, it modeled these two components as just straight extruded um, blocks. I'm not sure what's up with that. I contacted Altium. They said this is just a bug and they're going to fix it on the next rev. But um, everything else went in fine. Um, to show that there is the ability to take a library component and... Um, and bring it into this project. Uh, let's see, add existing to project. I'm going to open up that 
library. Here we are. And on the schematic, I'm going to place the component. So those extruded components that didn't quite make it through, um, I'm going to place them on this and see if they populate correctly. Place part, physical component, and OK. So that's on. And then I'm going to send those down to the PCB. changes close and there we have it so our component here that didn't come in correctly I guess this component goes with this guy uh, that these didn't come in correctly um, you can place them in from a library and they work great so it must be something with the importer uh, but there you have it I've got my design um, with that one bug being the only exception I've got the schematic the PCB and everything ready to go I hope it works for you and you enjoy the tutorial.